Hello viewers, welcome back to our channel Career Prep. Today we learn all about co-prime numbers. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to get notifications as soon as we post a new video. So let's start. So let's learn about co-prime numbers. Co-prime numbers are also called relatively prime or mutually prime numbers. Co-prime numbers can also be called as relatively prime numbers or mutually prime numbers. Co-prime numbers are those numbers that have only one common factor that is one. This means that a pair of numbers are said to be co-prime when they have their HCF as one. So if two numbers have one as the HCF, then they are co-prime numbers. There should be a minimum of two numbers to form a set of co-prime numbers. Three numbers can also form a set of co-prime numbers. Four numbers can also form a set of co-prime numbers. But the minimum number should be two. Now consider the numbers three and five. Both these are prime numbers. Here, the factors of 3 are 1 and 3. Factors of 5 are 5 and 1. The only common factor of 3 and 5 is 1. The factors of 3 are 1 and 3. Factors of 5 are 1 and 5. So the common factor of 3 and 5 is 1. So 3 and 5 are co-prime numbers. Now you have to keep in mind that co-prime numbers need not be prime numbers always. Consider these two numbers 4 and 9. 4 and 9 are composite numbers but they also form a pair of co-primes because the factors of 4 are uh, 1, 2 and 4. Factors of 9 are 1, 3 and 9. So the common uh, factor of 4 and 9 is 1. So 4 and 9, although they are composite numbers, they are also co-prime numbers because their only common factor is 1. Hope you understood that. Now, there are several pairs of co-prime numbers from 1 to 100. Some of them are 2 and 3, 3 and 5, 5 and 11, 4 and 15, 28 and 57, 1 and 50, etc. All these pairs have one thing in common, that is their common factor is 1. Common factor of 2 and 3 is 1. Common factor of 3 and 5 is 1. Common factor of 5 and 11 is 1 and so on. Now let's learn how to check if the given set of numbers are co-prime numbers. To find whether any two numbers are co-prime, first find their HCF. If their HCF is 1, then the given numbers are co-prime. Consider the numbers 4 and 15. The factors of 14 are 1, 2, 7 and 14. Factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5 and 15. So obviously you can see that the common factor of 14 and 15 is only 1. So 14 and 15 are co-prime numbers. Con now consider these two numbers 4 and 8. The factors of 4 are 1, 2 and 4. The factors of 8 are 1, 2. 2, 4 and 8. You can see here that the factors that are common to both 4 and 8 are 1, 2 and 4. So HCF of 4 and 8 is the uh, highest common factor which is 4. So HCF is 4 not 1. So 4 and 8 are not co-prime numbers because their HCF is 4 and not 1.
let's understand a few properties of coprime numbers now coprime numbers can be identified easily with the help of some of these properties the number 1 is coprime with every other number this means that one and any other number always form a set of coprime numbers two prime numbers together always form coprime numbers because prime numbers always have only two factors one and the number itself so the common factor between two prime numbers will always be one for example consider the numbers 2 and 3 now 2 and 3 are prime numbers the factors of 2 are 1 and 2 factors of 3 are 1 and 3 so hcf of 2 and 3 is 1 so 2 and 3 are coprime numbers two prime numbers together always form coprime numbers next any two consecutive numbers will always be coprime numbers because the successive numbers hcf will always be 1 so any two consecutive numbers will always be coprime numbers because their hcf is always 1 let's look at some examples 1 and 2 are consecutive numbers now the factors of 1 is 1 the factors of 2 is 1 and 2 so the hcf here is 1 so 1 and 2 are coprime numbers look at these two numbers 2 and 3 the factors of 2 is the factors of 2 are 1 and 2 the factors of 3 are 1 and 3 so the hcf of 2 and 3 is 1 so 2 and 3 are coprime numbers similarly 3 and 4 are consecutive numbers the factors of 3 are 1 and 3 the factors of 4 are 1 2 and 4 so the hcf of uh, 3 and 4 is 1 so 3 and 4 are coprime numbers similarly 4 and 5 are consecutive numbers and they are also coprime numbers 5 and 6 are consecutive numbers and they are also coprime numbers next property two even numbers cannot be coprime numbers since the even numbers will always have two as their common factor for two numbers to be coprime numbers their common factor that is their hcf should always be 1 but two even numbers will always have two as their uh, hcf now look at these two even numbers 4 and 6 the factors of 4 are 1 2 and 4 factors of 6 are 1 2 3 and 6 so hcf of 4 and 6 is 2 since the hcf is 2 the numbers 4 and 6 are not coprime numbers hcf is not 1 so 4 and 6 can never be coprime numbers so two even numbers can never be coprime numbers next property if two numbers have their unit number as 0 and 5 they cannot be prime numbers so if two numbers have their unit digit as 0 or 5 they cannot be coprime numbers look at these two numbers 30 and 35 30 and 35 cannot be coprime numbers because both the numbers are divisible by 5 so their hcf will always be 5 hcf of 30 and 35 is 5 not 1 so these two numbers can never be coprime numbers two numbers that have their unit number as 0 and 5 can never be coprime numbers because their hcf will always be 5 and not 1 next property the sum of two coprime numbers is always coprime with their product 
let's understand this with an example look at these two numbers 5 and 9 5 and 9 are co-prime numbers the sum of these two numbers is 14 that is 5 plus 9 is 14 the product of these two numbers is 45 that is 5 multiplied by 9 is 45 the, so the sum of two co-prime numbers is always co-prime with their product this means that 14 and 45 are co-prime numbers if you find the factors of 14 and 45 you will find that their hcf is 1 so 14 and 45 are co-prime numbers let's understand the differences between co-prime numbers and twin prime numbers co-prime numbers are those numbers whose hcf is 1 that is two numbers whose only common factor is 1 are known as co-prime numbers on the other hand twin prime numbers are those prime numbers whose difference is always 2 for example 3 and 5 are twin prime numbers and their difference is 2 twin prime numbers are always prime numbers while co-prime numbers can be composite numbers as well look at the example of the twin prime numbers 3 and 5 here 3 and 5 are prime numbers so twin prime numbers are prime numbers are always prime numbers now consider the example 1 and 2 1 and 2 are co-prime numbers and 1 and 2 are prime numbers now consider the numbers 4 and 5 4 and 5 also are co-prime numbers but the number 4 is a composite number so co-prime numbers can be either prime numbers or composite numbers as well the difference between two twin prime numbers is always 2 while the difference between two co-prime numbers can be any number as already seen uh, the, the numbers 3 and 5 are twin prime numbers and their difference is 2 so the difference between two twin prime numbers is always 2 but consider the uh, co-prime numbers 1 and 2 their difference is 1 consider another pair of uh, co-prime numbers 1 and 50 their difference is 49 so the difference between two co-prime numbers can be any number all the pairs of twin prime numbers are also co-prime while all co-prime numbers may or may not be twin primes now consider the example of the twin prime numbers 3 and 5 3 and 5 are twin prime numbers now the hcf of 3 and 5 is 1 so 3 and 5 are also co-prime numbers so twin prime numbers can also be co-prime numbers all twin prime numbers are co-prime numbers now when you consider co-prime numbers 1 and 2 both 1 and 2 are prime numbers so they are also twin prime numbers so co-prime numbers 1 and 2 are co-prime numbers and twin prime numbers now consider the co-prime numbers 1 and 50 here 50 is not a prime number 1 and 50 are co-prime numbers but they are not twin prime numbers so all co-prime numbers may or may not be twin prime numbers one forms a co-prime pair with every number while it forms a twin prime pair with only three this means that one and any other number can form a co-prime pair so one and two are co-prime numbers one and three are co-prime numbers one and five are co-prime numbers but one will form a twin prime pair with only three because the difference between one and three is two with any other number the difference will be um, more than two not two so 
one can form a twin prime pair with only three because the difference between one and three is two. Let's solve a few problems on co-prime numbers. Are 18 and 35 co-prime numbers? Let's check if 18 and 35 are co-prime numbers. To do that, first you have to find the common factors of 18 and 35. The factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. The factors of 35 are 1, 5, 7 and 35. When you look at these factors, you'll notice that the common factor is 1. So the common factor of 18 and 35 is 1. This means that the HCF of 18 and 35 is 1. Since the HCF is 1, the numbers 18 and 35 are co-prime numbers. Check whether 150 and 295 are co-primes. The given numbers are 150 and 295. So the last digits are 0 and 5. So these two numbers 150 and 295 are divisible by 5. So since they are divisible by 5, their HCF will be 5 and not 1. Since the HCF of 150 and 295 is 5, these two numbers are not co-prime. Alternatively, you can find HCF of 150 and 295 and then find out if the HCF is 1 or not. Now, 150 can be written as a product of its prime factors as 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5. Now 295 can be written as 5 multiplied by 59. When you look at these two, you'll notice that the common factor is 5. So HCF of 150 and 295 is 5 and not 1. Since the HCF is 5, the numbers 150 and 295 are not co-prime. From these sets of numbers, check which set of numbers has co-prime numbers. Consider the numbers 21 and 24. 21 and 24 are not co-prime numbers because when you list out the factors, you'll notice that the common factors of 21 and 24 are 1 and 3. So, HCF of 21 and 24 is 3, not 1. So, since the HCF of 21 and 24 is 3, these numbers can never be co-prime numbers. Let's look at the numbers 13 and 15 and check whether they are co-prime numbers. Now, 13 and 15 are co-prime numbers because they are prime numbers. 13 and 15 are prime numbers. So, their common factor will be 1. That is, their HCF will be 1. Since the HCF of 13 and 15 is 1, these two numbers are co-prime factors. Now, let's check whether 17 and 18 are co-prime numbers. 17 and 18 are co-prime numbers because they are two successive numbers. 17 and 18 are successive numbers. Hence, their common factor will be 1. That is, their HCF will be 1. So, 17 and 18 are co-prime numbers because they are two successive numbers. Viewers, please go through this video till you are perfect with the concept. We have a video to help you understand the properties of HCF and LCM. Please do watch that video also. If you have liked this video, please like, subscribe and share this video. Thank you.